So hi everyone, Steve here from Barton Snooker and today we're going to look at a new little video series I thought I'd do which is going to be titled something like how do you play that or how do you do that and in actual fact I'd love you to help me out in the comments what do you think this little video series should be called so my idea is that you're going to send in your requests for certain types of shot you might see one of the professionals play it on the TV or you've just got a question about a shot that you struggle with send that shot to me and then I'll feature it in the next episode of And I thought I'd start off this time with um, this shot on the black. So this is a very common shot where we'd like to get the white positioned over here for these two reds, and I'm on the black. So we're going to have a look at how you play this shot. So first of all, let's look at where would this white go if we play topspin on the white. So top, we've potted the black, it's come off the cushion, and you can see it's come onto these two reds here. It's positioned itself. I'm going to make a little mark here where this is, over here. Now, that's not too bad. We potentially have got a shot there. Let's have a look. So we've potentially got a shot where we can just nudge off the other red. We could roll through, just get a little flick off this red and roll through for the black. But what I'd actually like to try and do is get the white a bit closer to these two reds. Now, I'm always talking about this being so important because if you can get the white closer to these two reds, not only does it make it easier to pot this ball, it then makes it much easier to get from this red back to the black again. You're having to move the cue ball far less distance and it just all becomes a little bit easier. So what professional players try to do on this shot is they'd love it to come off the black and stun directly up this line here and land on these two reds. Now, the way we do that is, like I say, we've got to get a little bit of stun on the white. But I'm going to show you the, the couple of ways here where this can go wrong and I'm going to explain to you why the touch and the feel is so important. So let's say that I hit this too hard, so I'm going to go below centre, just one tip below centre there, and hit it to pot the black. And can you see the way I came very, very close to actually hitting this red? So I'm not going to use the black each time, I'm going to put a red on the spot. But it was very close to hitting that red. If I just play one more, and we go same pot on the white, and I use a bit more power. And can you see that time, it's actually cannoned into the red, it's hit the red. Okay, so we, need, we know we need to now go a bit softer. So by hitting it too hard, I'm generating too much stun on the white, and that's what's bringing it up and hitting this red. So let's play it softer. So let's do the same thing. So we go below center, softer. Ah, and now what's happened is I've actually lost the cue ball because I didn't generate any backspin on the white. So what I mean by that is, this white ball, as it's travelling towards this, it's a red at the moment now, isn't it, on the black spot. So as it's travelling towards here, it's going to be spinning backwards, and then if I don't hit it hard enough, that spin will run out, and it will just hit the red and just roll along its normal natural path. That's why it went to the side cushion. If I hit it too hard, it will be spinning backwards, and it will still be spinning backwards when it hits this red, and then it will come up the centre of the table. So we need it to be spinning backwards a bit, but not too much. So let's try that. So I'm going to try and get the power right now so that I stun past them. Now I've managed to get the stun shot nice, a little bit closer to these two reds. I could probably even get a bit closer than that, but it's left me a nice shot now so that I can get onto one of these two reds again and continue my break. So let's just try and play one more of those, see if I can get an even better one than that. So I get right behind the reds if I can. So that's it. And you see, you know, I'm closer to these reds. I'm stunning up past that line. I'm leaving myself a nice shot onto these reds into the corner. And that there is how you play that shot. Very, very useful shot where you're stunning past a couple of reds there. And that's the first little introduction into this series, which I'm going to call something like, how do you play that? But I want you to give me a really good idea for what this series could be called, where you send me in your questions and I'll show you how to play these shots. As always, everybody, if anyone's interested in any personal one-to-one -one coaching sessions, I'm working on this very table that you see in my videos, all the time helping players to improve their game. If you're new to the channel, remember to like my video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and click the little bell notification icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And as always, everybody, thanks a lot for watching. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.